to start. Sorry for the brief interrupt there. Um, uh, so let's see. Don't have a very, very busy agenda today, but we can run through the usual suspects. Uh, there have not been a lot of changes right at the moment. We have got uh, a, a, this roughly the same sort of list of candidates. We've got um, we've got the uh, released candidate viewers right now. We have the layer limits and the attachment fixes viewers. Um, both collections of fixes that uh, you will all want. Um, and uh, I don't anticipate any great difficulties with either of those. Uh, we have uh, another revision of the mesh importer fixes that's in QA now and should be out shortly uh, if all goes well. And we're working on updates to the project viewers for viewer managed marketplace and Oculus Rift. Uh, so that's uh, that's the and, and of course experiences is still out there, but that's that's not hung up on viewer issues. That's hung up on server side issues on which we are continuing to make progress. But I don't have a I don't have an arrival date yet. Yeah, lots of updates. Um, <laughs> um, did I say something other than importer? Yeah. No, I, I mentioned that. Um, so that's where all of that stuff is. As usual, I'm not prepared to predict what order they'll come in, much less when they'll come. Uh, but they're all out there. Uh, and let's see. Oh, one other thing that I meant to mention I didn't put on the agenda. Uh, a meeting or two ago, I talked about removing the, uh, our, that we were going to remove the sending snapshots to email uh, postcard service because it's contributing to our being identified as spammers. Um, instead, we found that we can get around that by um, sending the email differently. So, um, yeah, it occasionally gets used. Um, not very often. But it does occasionally get used, and it turns out there were two different websites that allow you to send your basically a photo stream kind of thing um, that we're using it. Um, the um, I don't even want to know about wardrobe organizers. Um, the uh, so the the way it's changed now is that. Um, Instead of sending the from address as the sender's address, we send the reply to address, and the from address is no reply at secondlife.com, uh, which to which if you reply, you nothing good happens. Um, so uh, that that uh, ducks the problem of us looking like spammers who are forging invalid addresses. Um, because you can put a reply, anybody, nobody keys on reply to addresses. Uh, so that change has already been made. It's been in the release channels in the, in the RCs uh, this past week, and we'll be going to the main grid next week. So um, that appears to be completely compatible with both the SLU uh, um, snapshot feed and the other one whose name escapes me at the moment. Um, but um, so uh, otherwise, the emails didn't didn't change. Uh, so that's that. Uh, and um, then I see a new topic item: unified snapshot floater feedback and discussion. Um, What's the topic? Oh. 
Oh, uh, actually, I, I mean, it's been pretty popular. <laughs> um, people seem to like it. Uh, I have not heard any, I don't think we've heard any significant complaints about it. Um, Grumpity, are you here? Do you remember any? Uh, So I did hear one complaint that Simon relayed. I think it came from a user group. Uh, it's that um, it takes up too much space because it's vertical, uh, because it's horizontal, sorry. Um, but you know, it is what it is, and you can actually close the preview pane, and then it takes up less space, such as life, we move on. Yeah, but it, it, it the, the nice thing we got for that was that the aspect ratio of the window matches the aspect ratio of your of your larger viewer window, which I thought was really brilliant. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a little bit. Uh, do we have do we have other sharing mechanisms that aren't in there now? Right at the moment? I don't think so. Auto snapshot fix is actually in the works, Neuron. The, the auto refresh one. Yeah, that's actually in one of the repos, so it'll go through the process and get out of there soonish. Yuppers? Oh, oh, you mean the, right. Uh, so, Cinder, you're talking about the fact that if you pick the other ones from the menu, you you get to their, their own floaters. Yeah, uh, the reason for that is that each one has its own authentication protocol with the service that you're sharing to. And each 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 flow is a little bit different, so that's why all of them have their own floaters. Yeah. So we'd have to find a way to. It's not fix that this that. didn't occur to us. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we look forward to seeing the uh, seeing the contribution on that one. That that'd be neat. Um, viewer managed marketplace, Brooke. Uh, you're here somewhere. Big group I am. Today. Um, yes. How is the rollout and transition going? You want to give us an update on that? It's been growing, going really well. Um, so over the past couple of weeks, we have taken um, maybe 15 to 20 volunteers and migrated their stores. And we, we found pretty much minor issues or things that we can do to prevent problems from happening. But other than that, things have gone very, very smoothly. And we've gotten really great feedback from the merchants who have been migrated. So um, we'll probably be doing one more batch of migrations to help with the robustness of the migration process. And um, and that'll probably happen next week or the following week. As far as the viewer goes, we do plan to get that into the RC process as soon as it passes QA. So probably not next week, but the week after. Um, and Grumpity says be vague about this. So that would be the soonest that it would go into the process. Um, but overall, uh, things are looking really good. And we've gotten some fantastic feedback from merchants. It's just direct delivery to VMM. Unfortunately, the migration from Magic Box has to be manual. Uh, and we have a video that talks about how to do manual migrations. Yeah, it's it's too hard to figure out how to pull things out of magic boxes and put them in the right spot. And you probably wouldn't want us to do that anyway. Yeah. 
Any other questions from people? No question for me, just a comment. Uh, take your time as far as the firestorm support uh, team is concerned. Take your time, please. <laughs> That's actually a good um, a good reminder. Um, we did, a couple of the people that we migrated are firestorm users and they asked, well, we have to use the Second Life viewer. And I'm like, of course you would, wouldn't you love to use it? Um, and uh, but I did point them to your blog and said that they should look there for for timing on when that will be available. But I think you might have some. Um, I think you all were talking about having a special group of people to to try that out for you. And so there are some candidates who now can't use direct delivery anymore, uh, who I'm sure would be very happy to help you out. Cool. Um, it, it's more for the fact that uh, once that's out, uh, it'll get merged into ours, and that's uh, probably the benchmark for our next release. So, um, yes. The longer the yep. release takes, the better its support likes that we're still recovering. Got it. And well, I but, think we understand that as well. But many of the things well. that are causing you headaches are in other things we're about to release, so uh, like the attachment fix. Yeah, well, we'll be pulling that internally, but. Okay, I, if that's it, then we can move on to the next topic. Yeah, so the floor floor is open. Yeah, Paige. The uh, so the we have we have a we we have a viewer called um, the Big Bird Project Viewer. Um, that's the code name for it. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of fixes for attachments not staying attached or not surviving teleports and things. That that uh, um, they're mostly fixes for various race conditions uh, that were introduced in the course of a couple of different things. Um, so we're, it, it, there are still a couple of ways that attachments can go wrong that, uh, especially in region crossings, that uh, require some server-side changes that this doesn't deal with, but it does fix a whole bunch of things that were wrong. Um, Naran, that's a, that's an interesting question. I don't, I don't know if we want to, I don't know if we want to work through the UI implications of that right now. Um, but it's something that I'm happy to take up separately. Uh, the trick there is figuring out how to get the interest list to behave itself while you're moving. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of interactions there. Uh, okay. Well, we've had we've had people doing some experiments with that sort of thing here. Okay, I will have a look at that video later. Is there a juror for that funky link dual color? Expected behavior. That's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, is there any way to change the color of the dark gray? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. Is th is that color a setting? No. Okay. Well, I'd be I'd be more than happy to get a setting for link path color. Anybody wants to implement that, let me know. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, Grumpity. Come over to the dark side. We've got, what, 53 tabs of preferences now? Other topics? Um, the only thing I have is for Niran. Uh, we have something similar in Firestorm. It's a, it freezes the world. Um, the animations still play, but uh, um, the actual scenes stay static. Even if someone leaves, you can still see them on the region in your camera view. I have no idea where it came from, but uh, we have something like that. It's rather embarrassing, though, when you start in talking to somebody that's left 15 or 20 minutes earlier because you forgot to turn it back off. Bye, Brooke. Thanks for coming. Later, Brooke. Um, okay. Uh, there was a there was a question went by there about from Cinder about the the snowstorm branch. Um, I have got everything working in the snowstorm branch that I that I want to to release that, except for the fact that I broke. Um, visually muted avatars instead of being colored avatars as you are as some of you are in my release viewer even as we speak um these what whirly calls jelly babies uh, uh um those avatars are transparent uh, you know they, they're invisible um and that's obviously not very good so i need to fix that bug that i somehow introduced and i i'm having trouble with uh, uh, and then that branch will be ready. Uh, I actually did add the code to report through the simulator uh, when how many of the people around you are reporting that they are not rendering you. Although I haven't added any UI notices based on it yet. Um, and the simulator now supports forwarding those that information through. That's another thing that's in the RC version that's going to the main grid this week. Um, so the simulator side support for that is is all in place. Uh, so at some point, I need to design a UI for letting people know that their gloriously blinged out avatars uh, are not being displayed. Uh, Uh, I I will if we if we get other contributions that are interesting uh, I will put them in a different branch I'm not going to add anything more to this one uh, so don't worry about that uh, yeah I, I'm happy to create a parallel branch at this point in fact we we already have another one for all of the further build simplifications that have already been committed um, and we're we're moving that forward. Although slowly, because the person who was working on it got yanked to work on something else. Um, sometimes we have to run around and stomp on fires. So, <laughs> well, we each have our own techniques.
Uh, is there any news about updating Mac viewers using a newer OpenGL? There is no news about that. We are not actively looking at that right now. Yeah, core profile. Uh, sorry. Um, Uh, I'm I'm happy to take a contribution for it, but you're going to have to go through a long, terrible QA process. The uh, the contention of our own rendering guys is that there's little or no benefit to be to be gained by doing that work. Um, that's why it's never been done. Um, I I must defer to their judgment because I have absolutely no idea on my own. You know, again, I think I just saw a fix for that go in. That's about particles flashing brightly white. But let me go check on that.
Uh, I'm sorry, Naren, I don't really understand what that question means. Later, Grumpy. Uh, okay. Well, that that sounds like an issue that deserves a, a JIRA with carefully explained examples um, so that I could evaluate the seriousness of it and sort it out. Looking. Uh, I don't have anybody working on that sort of issue right now, so um, I, I really can't comment on it. Uh, I'll I'll bring it up next time we triage things. You, you can say the same about a lot of things that get created in Second Life. People look at it, the, the creators look at it in their settings, whether it be high, ultra, medium, whatever, and assume that it's going to look fine all across all different settings, and it doesn't, honestly. Just my opinion on the subject. And people, and people scold us for wanting to have a uniform shared experience.
Oops. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong person about defaults on a firestorm. I stay away from that argument completely. That's up to the devs. Yeah, I, uh, j in general, I have, uh, I, I generally don't want to try to get into doing features that are designed to overcome the fact that creators have done something wrong when they did the creation. Uh, it, it's just that way it lies, you know, insanity, um, and, and failure probably. Um, so, uh, I, I don't think I completely understand. I, I, I sort of understand what the problem is that you're describing, Naran, but I don't think I understand what solution you're proposing. So, um, uh, if you can describe to me in adequate detail, in some other form than chat in the middle of a real-time meeting, uh, what it is needs to be done and how it would be good. I'm more than happy to review that and put it out there and have people who know understand these issues better than I do uh, express their opinions. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to make any commitments about it here and now, that's for sure. Sienna, it's more a matter of uh, picking the battles that I'm choosing to fight over what should be a default and what shouldn't. Right. Um, anything, any other topics? Or do we get to knock off early this Friday? Well, um, Jess isn't here, so. Double checking the calendar. Uh... We, our next meeting will be June the 5th, unless something critical comes up before then. In which case, you'll let us know. So. Yeah, in which case, I'll send out an email. Um. Yeah, we could get into a long argument about content creators and uh, the things that are done wrong. Um, but I ain't going there today. Okay, uh, I think... Later, Izzy. I think on that note, I'm going to duck out. My boss is pinging me, and I am here. So, adios, everyone. Thanks, Oz. Take care. See you in three weeks. And poof, I'm out of here. Later, folks.